Ezra, let's dive into bread. Okay, so guys, uh, this is this is a this is a a, a good one for me because one, I care about this a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I, I I'm deep in the bread. Um, I let's let's. I didn't know where to start. Bread's history is, is deep, uh, but I went for, for my own personal history. So let's go back to, you know, California, Bay Area, 2001 or so. Um, my Are high we school. talking pre 9 11. This is the first time you had bread. Yeah, and this... Look what happened. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't realize bread was so recent. I thought bread was kind of older than that. Yeah. But yeah. This is the invention guess, of bread. It comes from California. I had no idea. I said, yeah. his, yeah. I said we would provide a history of the topic. I did not say whether yeah, it would be not the be history. Com- not complete or necessarily fully factually accurate because yeah, you know cool. what uh it's tough to tough to d- dive deep into bread like uh, a chat gpt but, answer it is gonna be as well you need to you need to answer my question i need yes. just i need to know your state I of think, mind are we talking pre 9 11 <laughs> or post 9 11 here I because think, i i know i enjoy bread very differently yeah, post 9 11 sure. than i did yeah. pre-9/11, this, this is gonna right? have to be Pre 9 11. Okay. I'm okay. pretty sure. Uh, Three quarters uh, of the so year. Like, pre, Limp so Biscuit is at the top of the charts. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, Take a picture of this. <laughs> it's, TRL is on. Uh, <laughs> things are going great. It's the end of history. You're um, in your mid teens. Yeah, yeah uh, war so, will so never happen again. It's gonna I am great. in high school. I am uh, going uh, uh, to get lunch. And the thing is, um, there's a bakery right next to my high school. And for lunch, I will get for one dollar one of these beautiful like sourdough loaves of bread, basically. Uh, so this 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 bakery is Borden Navi's, and you would see me often in high school with a whole loaf of bread that I would then share <laughs> with my with friends. <laughs> I mean, that's a good deal for a, as far as lunch goes. An entire loaf of bread for a dollar. Yes. Yeah. Right. So and this is this is actually gonna be a. a one of the things about bread is that, like, oh my god, it's amazing when it's fresh, right? Because it's a bakery yeah. they baked yeah. uh, all all day round. Yeah. Um, and also, it is crazy cheap for the caloric intake. Yeah. Right. And Man. so this is going to be not just a discovery that I made in 2001, though. Turns out people are on this earlier, even. So well, also, it gives you kind of a Jesusy vibe at school. Just walk uh, around <laughs> with a whole loaf of bread you can share with people. I'm real quick too. Are, are we just talking about just eating bread? Like you're I just mean, gonna do, like nothing. Uh, like you know you're not dipping it that, anything okay so that's why bread. i was for this one this this was just straight bread but there was also a deli that you could just buy uh, meat at and so uh sometimes if we were feeling a little fancy <laughs> we would then you know buy Ooh. like half pound of of uh pastrami uh split among friends and we have like basically like, four <laughs> sandwiches a half pound of for like among friends yeah for a pastrami basically. only sandwich though we're talking <laughs> just fresh bread <laughs> and pastrami but it was a okay. dollar, i just Hunter. feel like he's talking about feeding himself Seven thousand calories on a I'm dollar. I'm just saying, you're walking around, you're just yes. eating bread, and, and sometimes if, if if things get crazy, you put Hold a little on. bit of pastrami on it. You could also oh get a God. quarter, a quarter, uh, a quart of chocolate milk, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you did actually to dip it in. I gotta say, Ezra, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. When, when, I mean, everything when about I was this in is high perfectly school, Ezra. Yeah, I mean, when I was in high school, me and my friends were behind the gymnasium taking weird convenience store drugs and smoking cigarettes yeah, and you're right. like making a charcuterie board with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> so like the two two item, a two part. item charcuterie. Okay. I just want to say yeah, two item was, charcuterie. He was really doing full charcuterie. He was doing like build your own sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I'm not like, even imagining sandwiches. I'm imagining like a whole loaf of French bread, and you just lay pastrami on top of it. I mean, it, you, you know? rip it with your hands. Look, Ezra, it's just like weird. Tom Him Wilkins, eating just a bread with pastrami, <laughs> or Ezra pulling a whole jar of mayonnaise out of his backpack to really dress oh, up the sandwich. Wait, no. Now we're talking. <laughs> I don't now like this. we're talking. Wait, what's a Tom Wilkins thing? Boy, I, guess. Uh, totally. I was gonna say just like Tom Wilkins and uh, Michael Clayton. You're just like walking into <laughs> high school with a bag filled with oh, baguette, yes. just being like, oh, "This yeah. is the best bread I've ever had." Look, I had this. Yeah, gotta try it. Ezra, this is before I knew you, but we had a lot in common. I definitely in high school enjoyed having a lunch that was surprising to people. Yeah. I one of my one of my tricks in high school was I would bring cold cereal in a bowl and then a thing of milk and then a spoon and just eat it in a class, especially like chemistry class, which was like my first class of the day. I would just eat a full bowl of cold cereal in front of people because I thought that was funny. Um yeah, I they loved it. <laughs> Big fans. <laughs> People can't get enough of it. Just <laughs> producing something you're not supposed to have in that form yes. is very fun. Mm. 
Um, it's true. And yeah, so basically, if you, if you ask people who know me in high school, you'd know that, oh yeah, Ezra, Ezra had the bread. Um, <laughs> always just, just straight bread, not code words or anything. Just, it was just, just literally bread. bread. Just had bread. Um, um, but, okay. but that was not the first bread you're suggesting. This is not the first bread. So oh. basically, we have 30,000 uh, uh, BCE. Um, we have evidence of, um, uh, in Southern Italy, like basically stones that I guess they did some testing on used to grind up uh, grains, right? And this would not be like a cultivated, these would be like wild grains. Um, and we know they're making flour at least. Uh, odds are they're adding water to it. They could either be eaten as a porridge, possibly it could be some kind of flatbread. Um, mm-hmm. Jumping ahead, uh, you know, to 12,500 BCE um, in modern day Jordan, uh, we have basically grinding more wild grains uh, into like a pita like bread. Um, mm. Don't know if there was fermentation yet, but still, same idea, right? We got like, you know, these uh, naturally occurring stuff. Uh, and we fun- unlocking those. Like those, we did with those could- things. What if we hit it with a rock? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a great, you know what? When your only tool is a rock, you can still solve a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, out. just for the listeners, I just want to say um, no bread yet. There's just pictures of rock uh, right <laughs> now. Like- uh, at first, um, I thought it was very bad bread yeah. that looks <laughs> nah, bad. This is the rock on a rock, These are man. just rocks. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay. So basically, I'll check this is... in when there's bread on screen. I will let you know. <laughs> there will be bread. <laughs> People, this kind of like goes to like basically like our, our, I think, ethos early on, basically, which is basically three three rules, which is don't die as a human, mm-hmm. yeah. two, be as lazy as you can be, mm-hmm. and three, maybe make it good. Right. And That's so, definitely a third step. And here's, yeah. here's the kind of the question, right? So like we have now these like, these grasses that are growing uh thing that happened the ice age ended it's getting warmer grasses are getting more prevalent it's like oh hey we can maybe not have to like go places we can maybe just stick around and like uh just like get these grasses growing but here's the thing yeah grasses are great if you are you know maybe like a grazer like a cow we want mm. this how do you do it how do you how do you match the i guess uh up with uh a creature that is like evolved to eat these grasses um with a ton of stomachs and here's what you need to do. And you we need have just a puny one. Yeah, we just got the one. Oh, but you team oh, up basically... and have multiple stomachs. <laughs> no, it's okay. Not it. So you don't no, do so like, 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 and then like survivor wait, to the Are next you person. saying communities are just people trying to make a giant cow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's that's how we form communities. It goes deeper than that, oh, even better. Okay. Whoa. Because this is not better. a human only community. All right. So basically, like uh, uh, if you mm-hmm. um so like survivor basically we need an alliance (laughs) and what's the alliance it's animals plants fungi and bacteria basically okay right so these are different kingdoms of life they're saying like hey i think we can make this all work for look i i think look you think we can trust fungi and i appreciate you wanting to bring them into our alliance but i think fungi is going to stab us in the back yeah have you seen last of us fungi are not with us okay Okay, so here's the thing they are going to use our faces to make them gaping maws Dude, they're scary. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look, the maws already gape somewhat, right? When you—that's how you eat food. I don't know. You don't—you don't just smash it into your eye hole. The Last of Us has ever asked if the zombies are happier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe true. they're just doing great. It's like we just need to form a full-on alliance with the mushroom face. Um, but so here's the thing. I mean, this is—it's a really cool thing. We're thinking about it, right. We have we have these plants, right? And mm-hmm. we're like, okay, I want that sweet sweet plant juice. Um, but. <laughs> Um, how do we, how do we make it happen? So it turns out, right. If you get some of those plants, um, they already have actually, you know, bacteria and fungi in form of yeast on them, just straight up. It's just there everywhere. Right. Can't, can't stop it. (laughs) If you give them, um, some water basically, which is essentially like roads, like access basically to, to transfer stuff around, um, they will just start pre chomping. What's that? It's not roads. If it's water, it's canals, but yeah, that's a good point uh watery flooded roads yeah flooded roads yeah. monorails um <laughs> you okay. get bacteria monorails yeah uh then basically um they will start doing the chomping for you and you're like hey fungi you will get the you get a little bit off the top you get to eat the first bits all right and then i need you to oh. um eat the parts that i can't eat um maybe break it down a bit for me um save me some time um and also can you just like burp a lot um that's the other part of the agreement and 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 okay, a bacteria also say, are can... we eating is most of the stuff we eat bacteria poo and you're saying no we're using the bacteria's burps yeah i mean i think that's they are t- they are eating some stuff and they are also uh then yeah burping a bit right Dang. and that's are, like mm-hmm. are you oh, like I... a part of some like group to try and like discourage people from ever eating bread or something because you're making <laughs> i want all the like, bread. really gross. damn it no this is not my goal <laughs> like are you like working against bread no, right now i didn't know it was like you're not 
I didn't know it was like bug stuff. Well, okay. so you're making it sound other... like bug stuff. Here's the yeah. other cool thing that's happening. Um, some some bacteria are saying like, hey, if we chomp on this, our natural byproduct of this, like, we'll just actually make it tough for other bacteria that we don't like, or other uh, f- like fungi that we don't like, and just kind of like just kind of just block them out, right? I'm and tired so, of people talking about all these good bacteria. I don't want bacteria. Okay, well, you got to so deal with it. The morality of the bacteria. I just want to be a clean boy. Well, it's okay? like moths okay. and back. It's like moths and uh, butterflies. It's just like there are hot bacteria and there are ugly bacteria. Yeah, it's good and yeah. bad. It's like. What I what I love about like the idea of like bread and like kind of like food and science history is it's like for a long time, you know, people knew that if you added these things together, uh, you know, weird shit happens and you got bread. But they didn't know like the science. They, they weren't no aware that it was, was like bacteria yes. and fungus and right. stuff. Yes. They were just like, oh, this is just cool stuff. It's fine. If it's you so leave it out, more it tastes kind of tingly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So much more and- upsetting when you find out what the science is like. Oh yeah, that's. That's that's a uh, weird stuff going on. I don't know. It's, it's true. So this is not maybe an agreement we would have entered into alliance. We would have known full, if we had like fully known. We maybe would have said yes to this, but we didn't. So and I, so we're like, I want to go back this and make it to Hunter being a clean boy. Do you know how much bacteria is you? Do you know like what? I don't think he wants to know. You're, there, uh-huh. I think there are more bacteria cells in your body than you hunter don't know. cells. You don't know that, okay? <laughs> you, you're not yeah. coming by my house and checking my insides I for think bacteria. You're mostly bacteria. No. As far as you know, uh, like Hunter, you are like like a Pacific Rim like uh, Jaeger, just that, but filled with bacteria all on the I inside. Think basically, is, that's, yeah. that's all it is. They're just driving you from the inside with sticks. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. proven that, you know. That's like a myth. <laughs> a lot of people think that's that. true. No, inside. All right, cut to inside, Hunter. Where it's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's just that little alien from Men in Black. If yeah, you you're in his ear, his face opens. There's a little ro- little alien in there. Okay, so so moving on. Basically, bread. Basics of bread. It's pretty simple stuff on the whole, right? So we got basically a flour, which is just it's a it's a readily readily available uh, grain. You smash it up real good. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. You get some kind of uh, yeah. yeasty bits um, that uh, and possible bacteria. They're going to chomp it up. They're going to burp. They're going to make it easier for you to digest later. Uh, we're going to do some salt. Okay. Uh, all right, add in there. Um, that'll help one with flavor, but also I think some of the breakdown process basically and, and make stuff, um, I don't know, denature, I think some of the protein stuff in, in a good way for us. Hmm. Uh, um, because here's a nice thing about uh, texture, right? It's like you're trying to make this like good kind of like netting web so that it capture all like the uh, all the good burps, right? And, mm-hmm. and kind of stretch right. this thing out, right? Uh, and so you need a you need to basically like I'm starting to get Hunter's uh, side. There's got to be a better way to describe this. Yeah, come on. We, we, we can say sell bread, I'm an right? unpaid researcher. What do you expect? I don't think I don't. <laughs> I feel like burps. There are not good and bad burps. I think that's they're yeah. all bad burps. I, think, I don't no, know. I think you're if you if you have been a, a youngin, you know there are many good burps. Oh, that's, well, sure. On purpose when you can spell the alphabet while you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and basically, you then you need like gross, uh, Hunter. Wait till you find out where other food comes from. No, it doesn't get better. No. <laughs> I only eat like Starburst. Okay, so I'm fine. <laughs> All well, right. That's well, that's true. Good. Actually, the more chemically it is, the more it's like yeah, it's just, Okay. So then it's we have clean. basically we have liquid, which is like our our canals, our our uh, our monorails. Basically, just helps everything move, move around. All right. Um, mm, and that says water or other liquid. Is it like? Yeah. Can you use like Sprite or like what is? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. You, you, I mean, you can do beer, right? Um, and beer basically is just uh liquid bread. Uh, bread is solid beer. This is the same kind of process yeah. of like grains breaking down uh, with the help of yeast uh, and liquid and time um, to to make it more nutritious. Also, for us. I, same, I believe same Irish soda bread is just bread with Sprite in it. Yes. Oh yeah, right. you can actually use Sprite. That's why that joke didn't work. I should have said like Sunny D. No, but but yeah. Ezra said, but basically like bread is solid beer and beer is liquid bread was a pretty solid moment. Yeah. There. So I'm glad we got yeah, a pretty liquid joke moment even. Work. Yeah. Um, okay. So here's the cool stuff. So basically, in Egypt, we we get like uh, I think a bit more actual fermentation stuff happening. So we're brewing beer. Um, we're we're breaking down these grains uh, with the help of our, our yeasty buddies. Um, like I guess this is, this was like left for like um uh like, like kind of like cone. These are like breads that kind of are cone shaped. Uh, over time, I guess they look kind of more like turd shaped. Uh, it's yeah yeah. For the uh, listener, I just <laughs> want to say there's like some like disgusting pictures of I. I don't even know what it is, like little bread, nuggets. Though? You said you'd warn us when yeah, there was bread. I guess it's like bread nuggets that look <laughs> is, really these bad. Are old. These are real old, guys. These yeah, are like, like old bread nuggets. Um, Seriously, like you don't want to eat this. Even with hummus, there's no way to save this <laughs> stuff. It looks really bad. Yeah. So basically, uh, Egyptians uh, you know, passed around this good bread knowledge to a lot of people. Um, 
uh, you know, get to uh, Greeks get, who pass on to the Romans. We got this good quote. Uh, so uh, Juvenal, uh, uh, I guess, Roman person uh, says, give them bread and circuses and they will never revolt. So mm-hmm. good, right? Basically make, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, followed up by Juvenile, who says, back that ass up. Uh, um, really two yeah. sides of the same coin, right? <laughs> yes. You know? Yeah, I mean, I think the rest of the line is back that ass up, and they'll never revolt. <laughs> yeah. That's how you keep people in line. Do you guys um, feel like the thing keeping us from revolting now is that there's just so many good circuses available? Is this like, uh, well, I, I mean, because what I think it's like at any moment, that's you, what you could see a touring show. It's yeah. a metaphorical I mean, circus. You're right. You know, TikTok. Twitter, fucking uh, the news. Oh, yeah. oh, those jokers HBO in Congress. Max. Yeah, it's those jokesters circuses. in Congress. Yeah, absolutely. It's all circuses all the way down, Alex. Why do you think yeah. no one revolts anymore? Oh, Everything's I a it was circus. Specifically so because fun. I was like, oh, there's a trampoline bug show coming through. No, no, no. It's not Yo, a little that's circus. That's what keeps you from throwing a brick. All right. <laughs> Anything now, not to not to take away from our point here, but you know, bread is kind of optional now. I feel like we're not yeah. revolting. You know, give me HBO Max. Yeah. I don't. I, you can hold the bread. It's all you know? circus. oh, Our yeah. circuses have gotten so refined that we don't even need the bread to we don't even need the bread the bread is whatever we just need circus it's all circus over here um if we're kind of curious like and what is like the basic bread process you know that that we, we have now i think it's pretty similar it's basically you're mixing these ingredients together you're letting it chill for a bit uh and and, and rise then you're shaping it and then you're letting it uh, rise again and then you bake it off and that's sort of like this is that's like that's the steps of like how do you make these you know raw you know four ingredients uh, smush them together and give them enough time, basically, and heat. Can I uh, ask so they a do really, simple. really silly, stupid question? Oh yeah, that absolutely. has always bugged me. At this me. point in the show, yeah, yeah. No. Um, no, I just as you might know this. Okay, is proof, and like, I convicted this man because I have proof. Are they the same word? Like, oh, do like they etymology? mean the same? Oh, did it come from the bread word? Yeah. yeah, like did they did they like did somebody one day was like, oh, like bread, I prove that you did this. Like it's is like that... bread. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like I, that... you know, I saw the footprints in the mud. They were the same shoe size as your shoe. I found your fingerprints on the windowsill. Therefore, you have risen to the appropriate height to capture the good burps. <laughs> exactly. In court. That's probably it, yeah. right? I mean, that's that's, that's, that's that a very word? reasonable uh, conclusion. So I think. So, so, uh, okay, Preove, uh, Evans arguments, a uh, fact beyond. So, I think there's like, there's like the testing part of it first, uh, basically. Mm-hmm. And oh, of course. That's like 1200s. Right? right. And then, like, but we also have to like proof, like, like, uh, to like see, like, basically, is this, um, uh like is the yeast still good basically and that's sort of like that that proofing process you prove it so so Ow. so this is a key anthony this is one of my favorite facts one, one thing that human humans are good at there's a lot of things we're very good at one of our best things is taking a saying and then making it mean the exact opposite of what it meant before so like mm-hmm. prove means to test like a proving ground for cars or you go test the cars to see if they're good enough when you're proving your yeast you're proving that the yeast is still good enough you're testing the yeast right so there's this old saying that the that uh it's the exception that tests the rule the exception that proves the rule so if there's something that doesn't fit the rule it puts it to a difficult test to see if the the rule works or not and we were like Mm -hmm. oh but proof kind of means the opposite now so the exception makes the rule obviously true like we just took that saying and just did it meant it had it mean the exact opposite thing so that we could just have an easier life if you prove my rule wrong, if you have a thing in my in the, against, goes against my rule, uh, you can just be like, "Well, yeah, the exception proves it." This is not is the opposite of what it means. Well, that's huh? weird. Huh. We're just like so dumb, you know. We're a pretty yeah. dumb group, you know. I don't know if there's any other smarter ones, but yeah. Well, you know, we're lazy. It's a key, yeah. it's a key tenet, <laughs> number one, right? don't die. Number lazy. two, be lazy. Be lazy. I yeah. think that number three is not. That's not. It's, that's not it, us. It is very optional. Yeah, Make it good is very optional to it. Um, okay, so look back on bread. Yeah. Um, we bread is like really structurally sound, which is very helpful. Um, mm-hmm. So you know, medieval times we have trenchers, which is basically like it's your it's your plate that you uh, that you get to it's sort of like like you know a bread bowl kind of situation where it's like it's the maybe the top um, crispy part or the bottom crispy part, um, mm-hmm. and you eat off of this, and then you don't necessarily eat it if you have money, but maybe you would like pass out this like here here poor person have my plate. 
uh, which has been soaked up with like my, my juices. Um, and so um, maybe you've eaten the good meal off of it, but then you, you know, you, you kind of share and share like by giving someone like, here's oh. here, have my trencher. Yeah. I, I mean, that makes sense. I'm I mean, it's that. better than like, like when you, you know when you go out to like a like a picnic or like a barbecue and you see just all those like paper plates yeah. wasted? Why doesn't anyone do bread plates? And we just eat yeah. the plates right there. Yeah, yeah. eat the plates. We'll just give them to the we birds. only I use bread bowl, bowls in our house. All bowls are I mean, bread bowls. There's nothing else. Well, it also makes sense though because here's the issue with like you know when we get served a bread bowl generally right with like clam stuff it's like you're pretty full from the clam chowder that you actually don't need yeah. the bowl. So if you're giving the the soaked mm. the you know still structurally sound bowl to someone else. That makes actually like a, a bit more sense in terms of it. Do you want to smell my clam deal. chowder while you eat my leftovers? Yeah. yeah that's I mean, cool. look, it's not great to be a peasant. I think we all agree <laughs> with that. It's yeah. not, if you have a choice. That's true. Um, that is true. My it, problem with all bread bowl is that I always eat the bread part first. And yeah. Then, and then you just end up with a bunch of liquids. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> the chowder pours all over your legs here. and it's hot. It's a problem. Um, yeah, I do that anytime I get a taco salad too. I always eat yeah. the salad. The 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 you guys are messing it up. You, now you have to get the peasants also. There. I, you know, I really like Ethiopian food, which has that <laughs> yeah, injara. Injara, which is bread on, as a plate, but then it's got a plate under the pl the bread plate. So it's, yeah, it's you double. Do dishes. Yeah. And there's also good then, fermentation there. Yeah. Then a table underneath that plate. And then right. you can't eat all of that table. Bread table so I can give it to a peasant <laughs> it's after It's tables I'm all done. the way down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so basically medieval times we have um, some feudalism where it's basically like people are, you know, if you're mm. if you're a peasant, you are uh, growing this grain because uh, again, like uh, that's a lot of good energy there, but also people are lazy. So if you can get someone else to grow it, that's even better. And, and you then you take drink some Pepsi in a goblet. <laughs> That's that was how that's how it happens in medieval times. Yes, and then hopefully your night wins. Um, uh, for, for the listener, I just want to say Ezra has written here: feudalism equal not a great deal. Yes. An awfully cocky mm -hmm. thing to say for someone living in a late capitalist cyberpunk hellscape. Okay, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I wouldn't throw stones at this point, my friend. <laughs> well, you, here's you the issue. Basically, his life. <laughs> uh, well, he, here's well, why some revolutions happen: is because they messed up the uh, the the bread and circus thing, right? Uh, so yeah. They made it. Yeah. Um, Basically, they're taking a good chunk of the grain beforehand, um, um, and then also, um, you don't have if you're you know if you're a peasant, you don't have your own oven basically. So you have to like basically like pay like I think some kind of tax uh, in bread form um, to actually use the oven. Uh, right. And then the oven like, so itself the... is made out of bread, so that you can give it to a lesser. <laughs> ah, a bread <laughs> oven. You cook the bread in the bread. <laughs> yeah, breads and breads. Um, I mean, so basically, at some point, you're going to revolt. This is like, like is feudalism is just yes, like it's bread. Like imagine like the worst Elon re like reply guys, Elon Musk reply guys, but those are everyone you know and they <laughs> do that for your king, right? <laughs> that is what it's just people being like, My lord, oh my god, these people are talking shit about what, you. What, what a great meme you, you had, Lord. Here's the rest of my bread. <laughs> um the the thing I want to get to also that I like about um this this is a weird kind of um, equilibrium, this alliance we have basically with um, with our, our, our munchy buddies, the, the yeast, the bacteria, um, in that like it's essentially we've hired a bunch of like uh, scar faces to kind of do the work because we were saying like, hey, can you have some of this and chomp it up, right, and burp, right. but maybe not eat all of it, please? And then you kind of have to bake them and kill them all before... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is an untrustworthy alliance. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, but here's the thing: we'll like end, at, like you'll die, but also we will, uh, we will keep some of you alive right. in uh, our starter, and more of you will be able to eat the next loaf of bread as well. And that's the, that's the deal. Yeah. But it's like it's sort of like you have, it's all about the timing, where it's like how much of the bread stuffs can I give you to eat and break down where it's good, but you also we need don't some energy want you to get high on your own supply. Not yeah, all just, the way high, some way it's high. Just like that quote from Scarface, you know, Manny first. You got to get the rise and then you get the bread and then you get the women, right? I mean, yeah. that's how it works. Yeah. I remember yeah. that from that movie that I've definitely seen. I I don't know if that was true with drugs, but, you know, I've met a lot of women in my life and mo a lot of them like bread. Yeah. I mean, bread is great. And, and here's the thing. Bread is also, I think, just really interesting because we have all these physical constraints straight up. Um, so um, temperature we haven't really talked about yet, but it's like 
um, our uh, our Scarfaces don't like to, uh, I guess, eat the bread at the same rate all the time. Right. Uh, eat the eat the eat the starch. Uh, so um, if it's too cold, they won't be doing too much. If it's too warm, they might be doing way too much. Uh, and then they eat all uh, like all they basically eat up all the sugars, and there's nothing to caramelize later. Mm. Before um, the listener, um, we have a picture of three different breads. One of them says too cold. One of them's too warm. One of them's just right. Um, the first, the too cold one um, looks delicious. Uh, the too warm one looks disgusting. And the just right one looks really horrible as well. Wait, what? You want this like <laughs> the too cold one? That's like the a the raw lump of dough. Like a meatloaf. Yeah, so so the too cold one yeah. looks like a nice kind of meaty, kind of munchy, <laughs> like chewy, gummy bread, you it, know, that I would love looks, to taste. It almost looks like the color of like uncooked chicken. Like yeah, it's very much what you want in bread. Yeah, you I think want I see that the bad signal. I think I see the bad signal in the middle of it, basically, in sort of like a rock. <laughs> yeah, part I can also. see that. I will yeah, say that bread's calling out for help. It needs, it needs the Batman. <laughs> I'm just a little. I'm a little Cretan. I'm a little Goblin. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I see no difference between the too warm and just right. No, bread. I, oh, so here, here's, here's the interesting dollar. thing about that. It's true. Like so, like the, they're pretty similar. Here's the difference. I had to like uh, Chain Baker made a video, and I had to like look this. So here's the thing. Um, and the two warm one, basically, uh, the Tony, uh, the, the Scarface is like all basically like I ate all the sugars. And so it, there's nothing left to caramelize on top. So the, the top is like not oh. as dark. Mm. Um, and also it's like a little I see like that. Lumpy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the just right, basically, it's like kind of like more of like a, 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 a uniform oval shape, basically, which like there's enough um, yeast to sort of like uh, push up at the very end. And like there was still uh, some energy for them to eat, basically. And they no, also got like, a caramelization. I- I get that, and I, I do think the Just Right probably great. would taste better. But look, if I made bread, and I made that too warm bread, and someone came in and was like, oh, you cooked it too warm, so you <laughs> no, not no, caramelized yeah. at the top, I would scream at them and tell them to get yeah, the fuck out of my house. Very, I mean, that's, very fair. this is basically, the, if you watch Great British Bake Off, everything the judge says is like, yeah, but if you serve that, yeah, but that would still be great. Yeah, but that's great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is the best I, cake I've ever had. Like, no, I, I think that's that. Actually, that is the thing that I, I want people to be taken away from this is that no matter where, like, the bread is really good. Fundamentally, bread is really good, and this is I yeah, think yeah. your birthright as humans actually, and it's like kind of been taken away from you a little bit uh, through mm. industrialization. We get that going. We get Wonder Bread, uh, which is sort of like this like super thing, and you also at the same time you need to uh, Wonder Bread. A sign of fresh bread is that it's soft, right? Yeah. You right. can add stuff uh, into it to make it uh, softer, but then you can also add it, make it so soft that it is not really possible to cut at home. And so you also, at the same time, have to have as another alliance of um, Otto uh, Rawilder, mm-hmm. uh, Ra- Ritter, uh, basically inventor of the sliced uh, bread machine. Oh, it was um, Otto. So, yeah. yeah, so basically Otto, uh, like I think first version is like early, like uh, like maybe like 1917, but like it also burns down his prototype. Um, in like a fire. What did he do? Uh, so he well, sticks at it. Look, I, I'm not a genius, but don't you just like strap 15 knives together and then go back and forth together? It might be more complicated than that. I, huh. I don't know. I didn't look into this. I ran out of time. Uh, also, here's the fun <laughs> thing, though. Um, the greatest, this is the quote for original marketing uh, of, of sliced bread, was it was the greatest forward step in the baking industry since bread was wrapped. So, oh. so wrapped bread was actually the best thing since before mm. sliced bread but what sliced bread, bread like bread ruins next. it though like sliced bread sucks is the thing yeah. right oh well it doesn't suck to me i like i love having it <laughs> but sliced like, the best but part let's... of bread is you cut open a loaf of bread and it's fresh bread there whereas like in order for it to survive as sliced bread it has to taste like dough conditioners and not like bread no no no, well, no. you have thing. to slice I... bread you can put that anywhere i have a little filing cabinet full of my sliced bread i can't do that with regular That's bread the grown-up you know? version of ezra carrying a loaf of bread to school i got a whole wheat up top okay like, i got i got like, wonder bread white down bottom as somebody who grew up you know very very poor with parents who worked a lot um, if they was not sliced bread and me and my brothers couldn't make like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, we would all be dead. All right. You like, could have just, bread was my, so in, important. What I'm suggesting is if you just had to take a knife and cut the end off bread, you could handle that. No, I couldn't. No. I can't do no, that now, cannot. Alex. What are you talking That's not about, something Alex? I would be no. able to deal with right now. Cut, cut, and then you have bread. No. It's like not. If you handed me bread like what you're talking about, I'd be like, I don't know how to eat this. Except whole, <laughs> you know. Ezra and then, with his then hands. I would end up. I would end up with two uneven slices and my sandwich wouldn't be very good, Alex. I would right? I would this rip it in here's what would happen. I would rip it in half and then I'd have two halves of bread and then I would put meat in between the two halves and kind of stick oh, them that together would be the worst like a long sandwich. rod. And and then, how would I even would eat it? Off. I don't even know how I would do it. I don't even so, know how I would do it at that okay, point. Guys, can I please 
introduce into into the evidence. Um, so uh, in 1943, because this is about like um, uh, about a decade or so since slice but really was taken off. Um, mm. We briefly during World War II had a temporary ban on sliced bread because um, oh. the packaging needed for it, we thought like we maybe had to conserve this. Um, so it's a few months. And basically, it here, turns out those little plastic squares were like <laughs> yes, crucial that was to really the war important effort. for the war effort. Like when we were building nuclear bombs, it was like all yeah. held together with little bread tabs. Yeah, yeah, you um, can put a gun so, in a bag, you know, so that's what they needed. <laughs> Um, You're so sending I'm gonna, our I, soldiers over to Europe with guns in plastic bags here's your, with little twists. Here's your on. gun, and they hand it to him in a little plastic bag. Oh my god! Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read uh, read a uh, a, um, a quote from um, uh, I guess a letter from a, supposed to be a housewife in 1943 uh, in the New York Times. So I would like uh, to let you know how important sliced bread is to the morale and saneness of a household. My husband and four children are all in a rush during and after breakfast. Without ready sliced bread, I must do the slicing for a toast. Two pieces for each one, that's 10. For their lunches, I must cut by hand at least 20 slices wow. for two sandwiches a piece. Afterwards, I make my own toast, which is messed up, right? Yeah. Well, right this is, I mean, you were doing the too hot, too cold just right. This is the, the, the moral of that story is not that Mama Bear likes her porridge cold. It's that she was the last one to eat porridge. <laughs> yeah, yes, that exactly. is absolutely right. Uh, so 22 slices of bread to be cut in a hurry. Um, so uh, it, the ban last, lasted only a few months, but but here's kind of the interesting thing, I think fundamentally where it's like, I think, Anthony, you're kind of touching on this, is like um, bread, even like bread in this form, right? It's not what we had before, but like it is fulfilling the first rule of don't die. Very right. well, basically, right? right? And so, like, and this lazy. is like uh, the, the way lazy, we've adapted, yeah. yeah, to a messed up, a very messed up world. But like, it has very much been the thing that is fueling it. All right, um, but I'm going to uh, say that's not a real person who wrote in. That was actually the Wonderbed Corporation planted that letter. But anyway, keep <laughs> going. Absolutely, yeah, that that's was big bread well. right there. Okay, 1940s on, stuff happens. Uh, I don't know. I didn't go into it deeply. Yeah, we're out of time. Um, basically, at some point, uh, especially in other places besides uh, America, we are remembering, uh, you know, the rule number three, which is maybe make it good. Uh, so, you know, we get uh, Nancy yeah. Silverton. Uh, you know, we get uh, uh, Alex, your buddy, uh, Ken Forkish. Yeah. Uh, we get... It... Uh, Good. Mm -hmm. You're you're yeah. listing great we, bread books for people. Yeah, we get yeah we get uh we get uh you know Tartine, uh, you know Chad Robertson. I think you know a lot of Chad stuff you know comes over from France. We got uh uh Apollonia uh Poilen. Um, so uh you know also like from a, I think a third generation baker basically in France. Poilen is um, so incredible. She did the master class about bread that I watched during pandemic, and she and I I don't do almost anything that she does, but I just everything she does is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Um, La Brea Bakery is funny because Nancy Silverton is an incredible chef, like one of the most successful bread bakers in L.A., sold La Brea Bakery, and now it is like airport crap. It is like the worst <laughs> bakery. If you are in the B terminals in the Reno airport, you get La Brea bread, and it is – I'm sure you'd love it, Hunter. It's the worst bread I've ever seen. Rule two, though. Rule two, be lazy. Be lazy. Rule one, don't be lazy. Already, yeah. So we have we have sort of like a you know Wonder Bread. We have some some sort of like uh, cookbooks that are trying to get back to you know what maybe bread uh, could be. Um, mm. What will make <laughs> us get back to this alliance? <laughs> what will make us back to, back to the alliance? And basically, it is someone who is not part of our alliance, not even really a life form. This virus. Oh, viruses! Oh, wow. Yeah, viruses get a real bad rap, you know. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Virus in? <laughs> <laughs> you just have like an auto program that runs in your head where you're like, whatever Ezra says to introduce a topic, I'm against it. I love this. Um, the weird thing about viruses is basically it's it's sort of it's it's kind of brilliant because like basically they are viruses cannot make their own energy, so they're stealing their own. So basically they are kind of using us basically as their cow stomach. Also, they need help, right? Oh, okay, they're just they just need a little bit of help. From we're us. the cow stomach of viruses. <laughs> we got some time. Uh, let us make some bread if you see now mm. basically uh april 2020 uh, uh google search for, uh, for bread huge away. spike yeah, for spike. bread but i just want to be clear on this graph in general bread doing pretty good a lot bread of people on the are rise. like what the hell is bread like every day <laughs> people are just like i don't know what that is so they're googling yeah, I mean, it assuming ezra that this is for people who wanted to make bread and not people who are just like finding out about it for the first time and are curious <laughs> what it is well <laughs> Anyway, I also did the bread recipe and that it happened as well, but this is funnier. But also um, in this one, first of all, bread is very cyclical, which I like, is that every year there's a little pop in bread. Yeah, and then also yeah. in this search, it's only to 100. So it looks like in April of 2020, 100 people cared about bread. Yeah. And 
And the other thing, too, is it's not really breaking down, like, what exact questions people are sending. Like, it could be, like, who is Brad married to? How much money does Brad make? <laughs> like, we don't know. <laughs> which bread, comma, which side do I fuck, question mark, you know? Like... Oh, no. It's a different alliance. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I basically, I wanted to introduce into the record also some of the breads I made. So, oh, there's um, pictures this is, of bread oh. now. So basically, yeah, we, this basically we had my first my first bread. I think you know in that kind of like early uh, early bread times, which mm -hmm. was not that great. But oh, you made delicious. this bread. This is bread this you is made. Bread. These are my breads. Oh, yeah. It looks good. I want to say you. for the record, joking aside, looks good. This yeah, looks really you good. said it didn't look good. Get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, no, I'm not <laughs> doing that. No, so yeah, everybody so has a line. <laughs> we got we got some we got some we got some uh, tasty but maybe not beautiful in the same way bread, but you know still good. And then it just gets better and better over time. I think like if anyone who's getting into baking, um, you kind of have these like little like quests basically i think that like oh can i get it like can i get this perfect like uh oven spring can i get like this ear uh which is like kind of this crispy part uh that, that pops up um from the expansion um like just you're all looking for like a certain texture and it's like trying to get that i also have some some challah that i made as well Ooh, challah. yeah those are good, really nice good good bread uh alex i think somewhere around how we had we had we had a you bread also right yeah i threw a bread on here that i made yesterday um last night Pretty nice looking. Ooh, I tried, I tried to draw the BTE logo on here and it did oh, not work. You can see, see the T yeah. is really big. The B did not come through very well, and the E added oh. an extra crack. There's a little B in there, but it's like kind of faint. My um what's the razor on a stick called as? It's called a LOM. My LOM is uh is getting a little bit uh, uh need a new dull. LOM. I need a new LOM blade. But um yeah, it's pretty good bread, man. And this was I would say if you're thinking okay, here's my here's my thoughts on if you're gonna make bread at home. Number one even when you do bad, it's still bread, which is pretty rad. Yes. Like yeah. This, yeah. this was, I had not made bread in a couple of years. This is my, my yeast was expired. Um, and I also was like, I mistimed it and didn't give it a full proof and it still rules. It's still the, one of the best things I've ever eaten. So it's still great. The second thing I will say about bread that is very important. If you're thinking about making bread at home, bread is not expensive. <laughs> you can just buy it. Someone else has made it. They did a better job than you. Right. And it's a couple bucks. It's like, what, five, six bucks for a loaf of bread. It used to be a dollar when Ezra was in school. Now it's like five bucks for a loaf of bread. Yeah. And this economy. And, like, no one's going to stop you if you just grab some, too. Like, fuck it. <laughs> you just oh, you can eat a loaf bread. of bread and then go yeah. run down the alley. No well, hold cares. on a yeah. second. I think I learned from Jean Valjean that occasionally it does come back to bite you. It can. It really can. Sometimes bad things can happen if you steal it. So don't steal people. But if you buy bread, this is the thing. This loaf of bread, making bread is, is like kind of satisfying when the world is dead. But when you can do stuff, it takes too long. It takes three days to make a loaf of sourdough bread. It costs $6. That is $2 a day you're making in the bread mines. It's just not worth the time. No, isn't this something about like sort of like late stage capitalism sort of sucking out any kind of form of achievement that people have in no, their lives I, look i that, I'm telling like, you, you just feel the, the achievement that... you it just takes so long you could have achieved other things this is not it's just that in that time and oh look also ken is better at it than you he moved to paris and you didn't like what I, let somebody be great at a thing and revel in their skill and just pay them six dollars for bread and 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 you you can you also they their their flour is cheaper because they buy it in bulk. You're bought, you're paying too much for the good flour. You pay too much for the good yeast. It's like not even like it's not free. It's not like but bread at home is, is free. It takes you seven Alex, hours during the day. One is day. this what you you tell your comedy students? Like, look, Jeff Foxworthy <laughs> is better than you, right? What are you doing? Well, not that one. Stop His doing jokes comedy. Are mm -hmm. His jokes are fresher. Is better. He went to Nashville and he learned how to tell a joke. <laughs> What the fuck are you done? What, what are you doing, Alex?